morning to everybody. This is Fuzz Buzz. Just buzzing around. Actually, it's my first time putting the mic on in the helmet, and I got the mic mic'd up. Uh, it took me a while to get the adapter. These GoPros don't work without the uh, original adapter. I tried a few aftermarket ones and um, couldn't get it to work. So finally, found it, installed it, and uh, here we go. Um, this is my morning commute, actually, from uh, one part of Kippers to the end of Kippers in Antalya. I am um, actually going to work. It's about 7.45 in the morning. As you can see, there's a bit of traffic around in the morning. Everybody going off to work. These crazy Turkish drivers. So, yeah. Hope uh, you guys come along for the ride. And if you enjoy this, I mean, please subscribe as I'm going to update or I'm going to put up some really cool videos of some sites, places, interesting places, different places that I'll go to um, in and around Ontario. Yeah. So, today I just wanted to talk about getting your license, motorbike license, here in Turkey. And recently they uh, they changed it. Um, there's three grades, A, A1, and A2. Um, I know A license is for uh, the big bikes. You can ride any bike you want with, uh, with uh, an A license. If I put it in gear, it'd be good. And, um, and then it works back down. A1 is the, uh, the small license. So I think anything up to about 125cc. And then above 125cc, you need a a2 license and then anything above that obviously you need the A license which I went out and got. Um, it wasn't too hard. Uh, I guess I was um, lucky that I knew Turkish because the course is in Turkish actually. I had a license, a uh, driving license from overseas, a car license. I got that transferred into a Turkish license first, so I didn't have to sit any exams or tests. And then, once I got that done, I was driving around a little bit with the car, and then I thought, well, I want to get a motorbike and, and, and see how it goes. I'm first time I'm going to jump on a motorbike after the age of 40. I think you can call it midlife crisis. Or, uh, whatever you guys want to call it. I call it boredom. Um, I call it looking for something exciting. And so I went out and I applied for a driving school. And before the driving school, I had a friend at school, a teacher, fellow teacher, who had a 250cc. He took me on it for about two hours, I think it was two hour lesson, in and around his house, around the block, going around, up and down. It was my first time on a bike, sort of picked it up a little bit, got the gist of it, and then um, booked myself in. It was 650 TL, TL, uh, for the license. It consists of a few um, Weekends, Saturday, Sunday lessons, sort of all day you're there on this little track and you know you're going in and around. I think it's got like six or seven obstacles you got to complete. 
And then uh, there's a predetermined route that the instructor takes you on a few times and you're expected to memorize that route. And um, come test day, the test day will come to, and you sit down or he follows you in a car and you're supposed to go on that route that you know. So no, no, you know, oh, you know, take a sudden right, take a sudden left, which is a bit odd for me. Um, because it's sort of a bit easy really, once you know the route, there's, you can't much, you can't go wrong really. And then, um, yeah. So, I did a few weekends around the obstacle course. There's a slow one, there's a figure eight, a step, hard step, soft step, uh, taking off. Um, like a little chicane that you need to go in from and out the other side. And then, um, I was the third one up on a Saturday morning, I'm pretty sure, I think. And the two guys before me failed on the um, obstacle course. They didn't even get to go out on the road. And I thought, oh my god, here we go. I think I'm going to fail. My heart was pounding. The guy came up, said hello. He asked me to name a few parts on the bike. Just basic parts. Where's the headlights? Where did he put the oil in? Rowdy, rowdy, rowdy. Got that. Jump on the bike. Went through the sail and did the figure eight. And um, passed that and then got on the road. And um, went out on the road and passed that as well. Came back, guy gave me the good news. And the system here in Turkey is you don't get your license straight away, so he doesn't give you a piece of paper to say, okay, you can start riding now. So you still can't ride. Um, you go and um, make an appointment at the licensing office, and that, that appointment could be a week or two. Um, you make the appointment, you can do it online. And then I made the appointment for, I think it was a week later, went into the office, and took some photos, um, put my application in. They gave me a piece of paper then, so that's when you can start writing. And so I started writing. And then they sent out the, um, the hard copy of my license, the actual license, the card, um, in the mail. So now I have a, a license. So I can ride sort of any size bike I want, which is cool. That's what I wanted. I didn't want to go and get a small license, then pay again and get a bigger license. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go and get the big license straight up so then I can keep it. And, you know, if I want to ride a small bike, I'll ride a small bike. If I want to go big, I can go to my bigger bike, and um, so that's what I did, and I just wanted to share that with you, I mean it's not, not too hard, I mean the instructor doesn't speak English, so for all you foreigners who are going to come out here, you know, if you've got a license, you just get it converted, so you no test there, that's pretty simple, pay a bit of money, they convert it into a Turkish driving license, and then, um, and then uh, you know, you register at a school, driving school, and uh, you know, you start your course. The whole course that takes about three to four weeks. I think the exams on the on, or the tests, the driving, t the riding tests, sorry, uh, once a month. So once a month he books you in, and off you go, do your test, get your license, and then, you know, you can get out there. As I said, this is my first uh, bike. Uh, I've never ridden a bike before. Uh, never owned a bike before. A push bike, yeah, a bicycle, when I was in my younger days. And, but other than that, didn't ride a scooter. I thought about getting a scooter. 
I still might actually get a scooter for in the city. And um, yeah, went out and got a 650 Yamaha V Star or XVS 650 Drake Star, whichever one you want to call it. And um, yeah, really enjoying it at the moment. I think it's probably at my age anyway. I'm 42. Best thing I could do <laughs> to enjoy the sights, sounds. Smells, I guess, of um, sunny Antalya. Pretty blessed to be in a beautiful city. Antalya is an awesome city with loads of history. I mean, you go riding around, there's um, ancient cities everywhere. Um, and you can visit one, and, you know, you almost go to one every weekend. And you, know, you can go out Kemet Way on one side. And then or you can go to Alangale on the other side, or you can go inland, Bordur, Sparta, Konya, um, Afyon. You know, uh, it's pretty central to all these beautiful places. You can go down the coast, past Kemet, I mean it's a beautiful coastal road down there. I went driving there with the car, haven't been there yet with the bike, planning to do that. So hopefully in the near future, I will uh, post that up and um, share it with you guys. So yeah, and, and, and every morning I take this road. This is my commute to school. I'm, gonna, I'm an English teacher here in Turkey. From Australia originally. Or, sorry, originally Turkish, born in Turkey, raised in Australia. So I'm, so I'm really, I don't know, technically Turkish, well, by blood, I guess, I'm Turkish, parents are Turkish. Um, but I really feel Australian, culturally. Um, I'm sort of getting the hang of, you know, the Turkish way, I guess. I'm living here, been here for four years. So if you've got any questions about us, Sunny Antalya, or, you know, getting your bike license here in Turkey, Drop me a line, and um, I'll try to answer it best I can. Yeah. This commute is sort of the back streets, as you can see. I mean, nobody sees this side of Ontario when you come for a holiday. They're always out in the, you know, on the coast there, in Kundu, in Belek, in downtown in Ontario. Uh, these are the back, back streets. A lot of stores here, um, you know, greenhouses where they grow lots of produce. Produce is, you know, massive here in Ontario. They grow everything um, all year round. Um, like this greenhouse, glass house, whatever you call it. At the moment, I think there's beans in there, I can see. Lots of olives, as you can see, the olive trees are around. Um, they make beautiful olive oil here in Turkey and, and in Ontario more so. So, yeah. And as you can see, the roads aren't, you know, it's not fully developed yet, this area. This is Varsak, sort of the end of Antalya. And there's not much else after this. Mountains, hills, and then you're in the, um, and you're in no man's land, really. As you can see, the cars are flying past. As I'm not driving too fast. You know, in the morning, the ride is awesome. You, know, you get to feel the breeze. You wake up, the sun. Yeah. This, this, this road's I think 9 or 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers I think it is. Um, so it's not too far. Um, it's my commute as I said every day. If it's raining I catch the bus or the school service. But otherwise I, I ride. Try to ride as much as I can. And luckily I mean I'll tell you the weather's awesome. So. 
you know, we get to ride many days. Coming up to my school now, nearly there. So if you like this video, or, you know, you think if you just like my voice, which other one it is, please subscribe and stay tuned. I mean, I hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I post. I'm going to try to post maybe once a week, twice a week, and um, and see how we go. So please stay tuned to the Fuzzbuzz. My nickname's Fuzz, or Fuzzy, as a lot of people call me. Got the nickname Fuzzy from a lack of hair, really. Didn't have much hair. So a colleague of mine when I was 17 said, you know what, I'm gonna name you Fuzzy. And um, I think she was being sarcastic at the time. But that's okay, stuck. So when I decided to do this YouTube channel, I thought, okay, we're going to do it fuzz buzz. You know, fuzz, buzz, buzzing. So. Here we are. We're at school now. We're at school. Colourful, wonderful school. So, yeah, again, please subscribe and um, always 